Tandy Ruth Makakula, a former safety risk officer at ESCOM, has been convicted of corruption and fraud amounting to 58,000 rand. Her case was heard in the middle bag of specialized commercial crimes court, where the 41-year-old pleaded guilty to multiple charges. She admitted to seven counts of corruption and two counts of fraud, resulting in her conviction under the Prevention and Combating of Corrupt Activities Act. Makakula's criminal activities date back to 2015, when she was linked to a company called Mendoza Engineering Projects CC. While serving as a director of this company, Makakula continued her employment at ESCOM, failing to disclose her direct financial interest in the company. She concealed this conflict of interest from ESCOM's management, even while conducting business transactions between her company and the public utility. Monika Nusa, the spokesperson for the National Prosecuting Authority, confirmed that Makakula's actions breached both ESCOM's internal conflict of interest policies and broader legal frameworks governing public officials. The court's proceedings revealed that Makakula's admission of guilt during her plea hearing sealed her conviction, as she acknowledged her involvement in the corrupt activities. The court has scheduled her sentencing for October 24, 2024. The NPA has welcomed the conviction emphasizing its importance in curbing corruption within crucial public entities like ESCOM. They reiterated their commitment to upholding integrity in public service by holding individuals accountable for misconduct. In related developments, the Hawk arrested six individuals earlier this month on charges of fraud, theft and money laundering. These arrests are tied to fraudulent tenders involving ESCOM and Sasol. Investigations revealed that companies such as NJM Heat Treatment and NTE services had submitted fraudulent tenders, falsely claiming compliance with a broad-based Black Economic Empowerment regulations. According to Hogg's spokesperson, Katle Khomokhale, the companies involved in the tender process were found to have engaged in fronting practices, thereby violating the BBEE Act.